Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. Is nice. Arsenal's result over Villa just another thing to, sh- to show you that shit it's different like, we'll win the league and it's different I thought it was huge it is yeah, it was. what a res- I thought you know bigger what bigger than the Man City game when we went 2-1 down 1-0 yeah, down easily. I thought oh, there's, not again it's because there's Coach halted the momentum now yeah. it, was a, it was a real if you would have lost that game it, we would have been in trouble everyone would have gone okay they're done like, even after 6 minutes when you can see everyone's on Twitter going they've battled it they've battled yeah, it yeah. Like, I had so many people tweeting me going where are you now yeah. where are you now yeah. <laughs> I didn't reply but when the 90th minute <laughs> whistle, when the final whistle happened, I went, oh, I replied. Where are you now? <laughs> Where are you now when you need me? So, there were so many moments as well, like right near the end of the game at 2-2 that could have defined our season this, as well. Like Erdegaard's miss, oh. Gabriel's tackle on Leon Bailey. Yeah. Like, the one were, I loved was uh, the Sali- when Saliba tracked Bailey went through. Yeah. yeah. And Vieira, and Vieira was very good, pass actually. Off. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Put, and then, but Saliba sprinted back and stopped the... Um, yeah, yeah. Save, that Ramsdale they, save. Yeah, he's so fast. By the way, how good... I think that save by Ramsdale when he pushes it up from Bailey, the pushes bar, it onto yeah. the bar, yeah. you know. could win us the season. Well, genuinely. But, but it's, a, it's a season-defining moment. If yeah, that goes would, in... But that, but you've got to remember what to say. You've got to remember Erdegaard missed yeah, half open that. goal like three. But minutes But that's what it says. It's as big. Yeah, I mean, no, I agree. I agree. And then yeah, yeah. needs to sort his head in out big yeah, time. He I played well as well in Ketchin, yeah. but I always does. think of the like the documentary if they win it right. And, and <laughs> that's that's one of the games. I think Arsenal when they it might be the year they did the Invincibles. They like went out of the FA Cup and then they went out of the Champions League and then they had Liverpool that Saturday and it's when. Henri did that mad, mad run. Yeah. When, when Gerard passed it back as well, he did the pass back and Henri yeah. jumped onto it. He tried to pass it back to the goal and mm. Henri jumped onto it and scored. Yeah, but he definitely didn't, you know, the one where like, they just put Carragher on his ass, yeah. like that one. And they kind of, whenever you watch those kind of documentaries, it's that game. And I thought that about the Villa game. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. it's like, yeah. because the Man City, the two games before that, Brentford and Everton played a very specific way. And it's something that Arsenal kind of struggled with. And that'll be the thing that teams do in the future is like, you know, set pieces and things like that will we'll, uh, um, unlock them and make it difficult. But for it's them. funny you say that because our only set piece conceded before that was like the start of 2021. But, uh, but I think at the top, like there's not, that won't even look like a weakness because of what, exactly what you're saying, but it's, it still means it's, it's still a tactic. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, like the, the goal for Tarkovsky against Arsenal, yeah. the cross but, comes in, you see he's with Odegaard, he goes, it's done. Yeah, yeah. So there are... The, the, but that's, that's a Sean Dyche uh, exploitation of other teams now. It, jo- it's just like McNeil to... I also think though it's, it's Partey not being in the team because yeah. oh, yeah, you have sure. Jorginho and you've got one less tall guy. But Partey was in the Everton game though. I don't think he was, was he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe he was. Maybe, yeah, yeah no, sorry, he, that's on me then. He, was, he wasn't fit, though, fully fit, was he? I think no, he got no, dragged after yeah, like yeah. 60 minutes. But also, if that's Everton's, that needs to be Everton's remit now. It's like, they are huge. Yeah. They're, like, they're a yeah. big side. So, so yeah. So yeah, the they're going to win 1-0 every week, ever and all. We, we could see it when uh, Deitch started uh, Ellis Sims. <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> like oh, no, six foot five guy. <laughs> Poor lad. <laughs> do you yeah. think, do you, if you want to talk about the ripple effect? <laughs> Available Mart- now. Martinez in goal. If he's not spent... 20 minutes of his life in that game time wasting yep. he doesn't concede that goal against Jorginho he doesn't have to come up for a corner Emery wasn't happy about that yeah, wasn't he, he, he said I would <laughs> never tell my goalkeeper yeah. 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 you don't normally see that, that. Yeah. but yeah. that's karma got slapped in his face now I normally like Martinez but I, I was cheering oh, when that bro, own goal I, happened I hate fans like this every team does it if it's your team no 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 he took everyone the piss t- no he every team the piss. does it he did everyone take the piss. Time but like, you would love it you would but be they have the time it. on that's the whole point of but injury that's, time yeah, but that's why I was annoyed I wasn't his team you're going to get annoyed at time yeah. wasting and not only that he should have been sent off how many, pl- how many you're playing no, it fucking roll around this on does the floor hear me out hear me out hear me out it didn't, it, this does matter alright <laughs> if you're time wasting the, the, the ref will eventually book you yeah but then he can just carry on doing it. Yeah, and what, he's yeah. not going to give a second error? Why not? I totally agree. Why yeah, not? Why not give a yeah, second error? Yeah. If you're doing the same straight offense, away. Yeah. Book him straight away and then it's done. Yeah, yeah. It's, or, or you go, hit, right, that's your warning, done. Mm. And do it the next time. Yeah. It's so rife in the championship. He, it's absolutely yeah. everywhere in the championship. The 
It's so bad. It, this, this is the thing, though, because you're seeing this from an Arsenal point of view. If you're all these teams who are trying to get a result against the best team in the league, yeah. sometimes you have to. You have, we're not going to play the way that you true? want us to because what do you mean, we need to get results. You're fucking sitting fourth in no, the Premier League. No, we're we're fourth. We did it at the Emirates. We, we wasted so much time against you and we scraped a point. You made a crap part of the game. I don't like it. But my point is, if you're doing it, it's a bookable offence. So if you continue doing it after getting the yellow, why are you not getting sent off? It's like when Klopp and that come out and moan about teams sitting behind the ball. Oh, sorry, should we just come out and Play it's complete, to that's completely yeah. different about that. Is like, different, it's yeah. completely different. No, okay, no, you're right with the referee, but don't have a go at Martinez. It's, I it's, will. It's, it's I'm, like I'm glad he got slapped in the face and conceded it, a It's goal. like when people had to go at him for the stuff at the World Cup. That's not his fault. The refs aren't stopping him doing all that mm. shit at the penalty. Well, my point is, it, he's not going to stop. He's not going to stop doing it. He should have been sent off. Yeah, for two bookable offences, but the well, refs are too scared yeah, to do it. Imagine if not, someone gets sent off for getting a yeah, second but that's the thing. time wasted. Until some referees are going to get... That's the thing. But they're right. Until an official sets that precedent, they're exactly. going to keep it doing it. It would soon like, stop. It's like... I think that changes in the summer. I think they'll make, they'll make a call on it because it's like, it's so... And I think they've done the that game. with other things. You know, that like, I quite like now there's moments where someone... Someone's got, they they got their arm on him and they go, nah, get up. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And I think that's that's a good part of it. So I think the next thing is that. I think there should be a rule. When it's a penalty shootout, the goalie can't leave their, their six line. Box or or six yard box. Or six yard box, yeah. yeah. Because all that Martinez stuff, all of that stuff, that's because he's able to go off and get it. Yeah. Just stay on your line. They shouldn't be able... Uh, another thing that fucks me off, and again, people do it because they can. If a foul's given against your team, you should not be allowed to touch the ball. You know, and they pick the ball up and they run off with it and then they go on oh, and they throw it back really high. So just wait. <laughs> that happened in the championship so much and yeah. it fucks me off. So why are you picking the ball up? As soon as you touch the ball it, and it's meant to be someone else's free kick, yellow card, it's good. it would soon stop it. Like they used to do, they, uh, one thing they, they don't do anymore, I don't know if there's a new rule, but uh, descent. Do you remember when they used to give 10 yards for free kick if you were like for descent? Mm. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't do that rugby, anymore. Rugby, isn't it? They do that. Yeah, I used to love that. that. But yeah, why, yeah. do you know, I think the other option is doing the stoppage time like they did in the World Cup. Because it would just cut out the time waste. I think that is probably what will happen. Yeah. Well, in lower it, leagues as well, because it has to be, what do you mean just Premier League? In football. I think that's easy. I, I don't really understand why there isn't... That fourth official does nothing. Yeah. Like, like give the no, guy a stopwatch. Oh, stop, yeah. stop, 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 stop. And then, yeah, exactly, yeah. So, like, give him a stopwatch and go boom, boom. Like, and then it all... Then you... Because in the World Cup, yeah. although the games went on forever, you, you, there was also... Fans got their viewing experience. Yeah, but also it was like, the players go, oh, we... What's the point in yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's if anything, you'll, you'll be like, well, let's get going because yeah. they'll get the clock yeah. down. If quicker. you do that, though, you need to blow the whistle as soon as the second has landed. I don't want to see the finish no, your chance. It's minimum. It's a minimum. No, but if you're Your timing, every, if you're timing every second that it's out of play and you get 10 minutes added on, fair enough. But when it hits 10 minutes, no, no, I don't no, want to no, see because what, what is this seconds? time racing within the 10 minutes? It's a minimum. Yeah, that's a, like, yeah, people really, to say People really struggle with the concept of minimum. Yeah, that's fair. I just get fucked up. scored in the 12 minute added on but it was 10 added on it was a minimum of 10 you yeah. fucking idiot <laughs> yeah. when your goalkeeper was lying on the ball for a minute there was another minute added on like yeah. it, it annoys me so much that does and you lot are starting to get a fucking victim complex about this refereeing shit because we deserve it no you don't oh my god no no no, no. I agree. there was one the other day you know that she went Arteta's doing that I'm, I'm convinced the referee didn't see the ball moving and then the play went and um, I think his linesman went the ball was moving she came back and gave it and there was this oh there's an agenda against Arsenal fuck me you should have been uh, you should have tried to be a small team against one of the big teams the last 20 years we oh, don't no, get I'm anything oh, oh now fuck you yeah, now. Remember, we don't we're my guy, it's just expected. You, you saw a bit there in for Man United. That's that would have been a red at any other team, but it's Man United. He's fine. Yeah, no, I what, agree. It should have been a red. But why does every big team think there's an agenda yeah, against because them? Because at the moment there actually isn't. An no, agenda. there isn't. <laughs> <We're chilling. laughs> yeah. No, it's true though. Because how many times are you seeing decisions go in? And how many times have decisions gone object? for you? You'd be excited about any club. No, it's just exactly. There's there not is, an agenda there, against there are, anyone. There are big club biases in massively. Massive. It's about spotlight. Yeah. Arteta's done. A, he's been very clever with the, uh, the 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 mistake against Brentford because he's made that a big thing and he said, "We, I'm not getting my two points back. We'll have to find that from somewhere." Yeah, yeah. And that because it's Arsenal, because we talk about these guys all the time, that play that will play, play on, on the mind, mind in yeah. particular VAR. In particular, but I, I think it, the brain for things to a point. I example, guarantee the next, the next really or or no, the that, next really close decision for Arsenal will go your way. I promise I you. I think so. Man City penalty. I, I wasn't sure about that at all. 
The, the the Nketiah one, the Edison one. Edison comes out and he's essentially trying to oh, block it. Oh, it's a stonewall it penalty. It's a foul no, anywhere else. That's a stonewall penalty. That is a stonewall But this is the, this is the thing, okay, so you've got that. Uh, I sent a video to you of the exact thing even worse happening with us against Cancelo. City. And, yeah, it, yeah, and yeah, it wasn't yeah, given. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'll, I'll, is there a gender against yeah, Newcastle? Exactly. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just the happened. wrong decision. Oh, yeah, exactly. Referees make mistakes. They're not fucking robot. That's just it. There's no agenda. No one's out to get you. It's not the Man United ones when Casemiro got sent off for that. And then there was uh, one with someone else the next week when there was, and he's like, they're against us. Like, no one's it against you. So this is where VAR needs to sort their shit out. Well, I agree with that, but he, they're not. They're not. They're not cheating. So they should have got red card at the weekend. They're, yeah, but they're not cheating. There's, they're just a bit incompetent. Yeah. That's what it, like, you, <laughs> you don't need VAR that. because it's always going to be subjective. Exactly. And it's always going to get it wrong. I always, disagree and, with you on offsides. Because sub- offsides are objective. But I, can live with, I can live with offsides, yeah, but, yeah, but that's nonsense. That's why I made still, such a big deal out of the Brentford one. No, but they're, still, they're still being made to be wrong. Yeah. Like Esther Pinion, same weekend. Yeah. Onside. Never got caught. Yeah, Harvey Barnes, yeah, but onside. Foot level, the same thing that they compared Rashford's and... Yeah, but I say it's objective. They, this is what I'm saying. The referees are incompetent in VAR. Yeah, right? but no, they're not saying, what I'm saying, it doesn't no, happen to just... Fo- football isn't black and white. That's mm. the issue. But offsides... It, goal are, line technology works because it's either in or it's not. It, it's, it's pretty simple. You looked in the World Cup with the automated offside thing. Yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd, be okay, I'd be okay You can with accept that. that, yeah. And it's, it's quicker. It's, it's like that. It's like that. But we don't have that yet, though. That's the problem. Well, they need to sort their shit out and do it. I'm okay with that. But like you say, with... I don't understand how we, you can watch something a million times, but people will still disagree. Absolutely, because it, it's completely. Yeah. Yeah. I think we got unlucky when Gabriel it was pulled up back for a foul on what's this, the Villa player. I don't think it was much of a foul, Gabriel, or, or even the one we were talking about. Bamford, Bamford, early in the, I think yeah. Villa were unlucky. No, in the Villa game, there was a, Gabriel made a foul and Villa went on. And, I can't remember that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't remember what you're on about. That's right, you didn't watch football. Well. No, I didn't, you don't watch football. But yeah, I hate it. <laughs> and like, because it's like, yeah, okay, VR is right, you know, it's all going to be digital, all this stuff. You've got a bloke drawing lines. Like, yeah. if you're drawing lines, then it's not, it's, it's still it's up, not, for, up it's, for debate. It's, it's still up, human error. Like, yeah. we, we, uh, we don't have VR on the championship, but I'm okay. Just get it? on with it. They were draw, and draw, it's even better. You celebrate. Yeah. When you score. <laughs> It's class. <laughs> and sometimes you leave the game and go down to the pub and go, fuck you, know, that referee shit. Sure that and then you get on with your day. Yeah. yeah. It's well, we had one last night, we had one that was offside that went in, and then they had um I think there was a foul leading up to their goal or something something along them lines. And do you know what? We lost the game. I don't care. I'm not sitting here going, There's an agenda against West Brom. You yeah. definitely having a pass. No, I haven't ever. Oh. Look at these. Look at these championship people going. Never, oh, moral never. high ground. Look at us. You've been in the <laughs> Premier League. It's not it's been in the Premier League. But it's not is, that it's acceptance. You have to accept that. Like we're making look, sport and football. It affects how people behave, right? Yeah. When you see people diving, the kids start diving, right? Yeah. And things like this, the inability to accept authority yes. or accept a referee's decision yes. or something is not good for I completely society. Agree. I and yeah, I'm going too far, agree. but you get yeah. what I'm I agree. Except when they've actually got it wrong. I, no. do, I do think, like, as I said, Arteta creating an agenda is probably quite a smart thing because it'll probably get. Do you know who used to do that? Ferguson, a United, Mourinho, and for, I mean, refs have, have come out since and admitted they were like Fergie time. Yeah, yeah. it's a real thing. It's an yeah, actual yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah. Or like, or decisions. Because I remember, like, when we used to get to and, and Highbury, like, you knew you'll never ever get in a penalty at Old Trafford or <laughs> Highbury. You just, it's just yeah, fact. Yeah, and, yeah, but yeah, it was yeah. you go there accepting it, kind of thing. It, yeah. it, it's it's wrong. But that's just kind of the way it is. So don't fucking talk to me about the, agenda. I never, the championship this, at the this, moment. This came from because I was happy to see our Martinus going and go after his time wasting. Yeah, well, shoot you, me next time. Fuck it. The championship well. just lacks the middleman, right? Or the on-field decision is what. Which I'm happy with. Yeah, I can yeah. accept. That's I can the accept, best way to do I it. I can accept our fucking centre forward missing a sitter. So I can accept a ref making a mistake. This is the thing, mm. though, because it's actually hard to make the decision in the moment. So you can accept the bad decision sometimes. But if you can literally see five angles of it and then choose to make the wrong decision, exactly. It's, it's so and we're slowing the game down to yeah, still yeah. get the wrong Stop decision. Stop a goal technology. Yeah, but slowing it down often makes you make the wrong decision. Because yeah, yeah, when you see something everything. in real time, that's how you should be like. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, if you're going to watch replays, I think you should watch those replays in real time. Oh, I don't think we should have slow mo either. Yeah. Yeah. 